everybody. It's Tyler here at the Ontario Provincial Championships, checking in with 3683 Team Dave. What a phenomenal team, winning, winning the uh, Georgian event just a couple of weeks ago here and looking phenomenal here at Ontario Provincial. Let's take a look at what Dave has to offer this year. I just love the overall packaging of this robot. A lot of versatility that this brings. So we talk about their under the bumper and over the bumper intake options that they have. Following that note journey through, you got to take a look at their amp and trap arm. It's been working so well so far. We'll be going into a little bit more on how to do your note protection and a lot more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. There's a start off with the uh, bottom of the robot talking about your awesome intake. You've got a couple different options uh, that you're running with. So talk about what you have and then we'll kind of go into your conveyor system too. So, so we use an under the bumper intake and um, we also have an over the bumper almost like a support. It's a roller. So it helps us intake, it, it just gives us more reach and uh, yeah. So when you were analyzing the game, what made you think of going like having both options? Because for a lot of teams talk to you, it's either one or the other. So why do you have the option to go with both? Uh, this is a game where a lot of times you have to rush to get to the notes because a lot of teams will want to contest it, especially with center line, uh, center line autos where uh, it's whoever gets there first, scores more points. So. Uh, we just wanted to have this because it, le it lets us get access to notes faster. So talk to me about math strategy a little bit then. When are you actually deploying that uh, over over the bumper? Because it's still coming underneath the robot, right? When the note comes through too. But right. like, when do you find yourself deploying that versus just uh, having it up the whole time? Uh, so we'll use it most of the time to intake because it just helps guide the process a little better. Uh, the only time we won't use it is if we're heading for a collision because we wouldn't want it to take over the bumper damage, but um, yeah, that's we'll use it most of the time. Very cool. And can we see what a note looks like coming in? Yeah. So a very smooth process on that. Anything else from that transfer as we get ready to talk about the shooter that you want to cover at all? Yeah, so um, once it goes under the bumper, it has a handoff where uh, it feeds the note into the shooter. So then the shooter, it can either shoot the note or it can feed it to the arm. I think that's a great transition into the shooter as well too. Ethan, talk to me more about your composition uh, of this as well too. I really want to hear about your wheel configuration as well. How did you end up with this sort of config? Any testing you did? And any uh, anything in regards to an overview of your shooter you want to cover? So we have our feeder rollers, which are powered by a Kraken and have some poly belts to transfer. Uh, they help with the note to hold it in place. Uh, they also have cat tongue on, which is a nice grip material. And once it's stored in the shooter, it is ready to shoot whenever we need it to or pass it to the amp. And we have this material called Teflon on the inside, which is super smooth. So it reduces friction. And then we have these LiDAR sensors, which we've previously used, we have previously used beam brakes, but we found that LiDAR is really good, especially when setting up for autos too. So LiDAR is just high or low, depending on if it detects an uh, object there. Uh, we have, both of our sides are independent, which helps us put spin on the note. We're using four inch compliant wheels, which help to really force it through. We have two instead of one, because it will help a lot with velocity to power the note in. Uh, in regards to testing, this is pretty much the exact replica 
of what our uh, prototyping was, just better. Something I want to ask you is uh, the, the choice to go with uh, wheels on the top and the bottom as well too. A lot of teams that we see, they're either just going with a couple wheels on the side or something like that. Uh, through your testing, why was that the best fit for your team? Uh, it helped for grip on the top and the bottom of the note. So Jackson, let's uh, go into the uh, this awesome arm that you have on here. Uh, talk to me about uh, how this process works, having a multifunctional uh, amp and trap uh, mechanism, and then we got to see how it works as well too. Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, let's start with feeding through, and I can explain as we're going. So once we're here, we have the note in this the uh, shooter, and then it we pivot up and send it in as our handoff into the amp. And then we can raise our arm, arm, and we just roll the rollers with poly belts and gears, and, or three printed gears, and it goes into the amp. Uh, we can also use the same handoff to go into our trap mech, mech, which is just a little bit further up. So it's intake. So then, once we've climbed, we've here on the ch stage. We uh, raise our arm before we climb. You see him, and then so the elevator will come up, and we will lower it, and the the arm will naturally, with our center of gravity, fall forward. We're pushing open the trap, and then we can just slide the note in. So really in regards to scoring traps, it's all about your CG, right? Because yep. some teams we talk about, they have to have extra balancers or something like that as well too. Your team is just a well-designed CG and because it, yep. it's been working really well. Uh, so really cool to see on that. Uh, lastly, I just want to ask you about the uh, the arm construction itself. Uh, looking at it, is that is it carbon fiber that you're yep. using that? So we have a three print and then our carbon fiber tube to the arm assembly up the top. And that keeps you ni nice and light, keeping your CG low as yep. well too, which I think is great. So as we wind up this robot here, let's uh, pass over to Anthony, talk more about uh, software side of things. Talk to me about how you're doing some note detection, anything that you want to mention in regards to uh, localization, autonomous, anything like that as well. Yeah, so basically what we do for note detection is we have a Limelight 3 that's aimed at the ground here. And what it does is it scans for orange pixels. So we originally tried using a machine learning like algorithm like that someone pre-trained to detect notes, but we found that it was like really slow and the limelight couldn't like run it at a high frame per second. So instead we switched to um, basically trying to find all the orange pixels that our like camera picks up and it allows us to run like much faster, like 90 frames per second. And it basically allows us to intake more reliably in auto and also in teleop. For autonomous modes on here, uh, as you uh, look for you know prepping for this event, did you make any major changes in regards to what autos you're running or anything like that as you got ready for provincials? Yeah, so for autos, um, we prioritized basically racing towards the center. So we realized that lots of teams are going to be like much faster at this competition compared to the other ones that we went to. So we have specially designed autos, such as one that like basically um, drops its preload in favor of rushing towards the center so that we can get to like the center notes the fastest. And basically this allows us to like have a guaranteed like note that we take from the center and we just start like with an extra note like from auto. The one note that we drop um, we actually are able to pick up later because of our note detection. So we have a path that like uh, tracks where the note like use it's supposed to go and then we like search around there and then we can pick it up and shoot it again. Well, Team Dave, best of luck here at Ontario Provincials. Thank you so much for taking time. Tell us more about your team and your robot. A lot of great stuff to go through. I think teams are going to learn a lot from this, so good luck. We hope to see you at World Championships as well, too. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.